there's been stuff that happens in the industry or hobby that I, I definitely throw out my opinion on. And there's lots of things that ha are constantly happening that I could throw my opinion out on that I just choose not to because... Hello! Ha, ha, top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing out there? Once a week, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I come to you from the beautiful Castoro Vineyards. Uh, we are out here for a music festival this weekend, Whale Rock Music Festival. If you ever happen to be finding yourself on the central coast of California during September, I highly recommend you come to this festival and hang out with us and have a good time. Check out some mu music and just beautiful scenery. I mean, look at this place. Maybe you can hear the music in the distance. Maybe you can't. I walked away so you guys can hear me talk and not be right next to the music. But Wolfpack is playing this weekend. Wolfpack is absolutely phenomenal. If you've never heard of Wolfpack, I highly recommend you check them out too. Also, one other thing uh, before I get into the meat of the video. This weekend, we'll be attending the very first um, All-American Reptile and Plant Expo in North Carolina, in Charlotte. And I think, I'm pretty sure that if you go to the website to get your tickets, which you should, you can get a discount if you put in my last name, Cusco, in all caps. You should be able to get yourself a discount on tickets to attend the show. Should be good. Dave will be there again with me and um, lots of really cool vendors. I've never actually been to a a show in North Carolina. I haven't actually stepped foot off of a plane in North Carolina in about 20 years. So that should be pretty cool. Get to see some East Coast folks and man, it's just gorgeous out here. So when I was turned on the camera, before I turned on the camera, I was thinking, what am I gonna talk about in today's uncut video? And man, it's just so nice out here. I just want to apologize for the last couple of videos. The audio was horrendous. I finally have, I, I have not finally, but I have a new mic on top. And I've got new lav mics that I'm bringing in because the audio was just horrendous. And uh, it, some nice lav mics that I've had for a long time, which is the issue. I mean, they're like $700 Sony lav mics that I bought probably about 10 years ago, which is the issue. Uh, just kind of finally given out. So, um, and then my DJI mics got busted at the Pomona show. So it's just, Audio has been a struggle, but hopefully this one is awesome. Hopefully this windscreen's working because there's a bit of wind out here and hopefully that thing's working. But the cool thing is like, it's shotgun this way. So if I talk to you directly at the camera, I can, you can change all these different settings on this mic so that I could point it this way. So right now you probably can't hear me very well because it's all muffled, but if I twist the dial, then it changes the direction to it coming from behind the camera instead of in front of the camera, shotgun style. So this is my first time using it, just kind of checking it out. Making sure that it's gonna be something that's gonna work. And then I got some new lav mics that should be here tomorrow in time to rewire my uh, T-Rex microphone, which has been a fan favorite of, to use at the shows, which I will be using this weekend after I rewire it. Um, yeah, but I was just thinking about, you know, just the stuff I share on this channel and the stuff that I don't, you know, there's been stuff that happens in the industry or hobby that I, I definitely throw out my opinion on, and there's lots of things that are constantly happening that I could throw my opinion out on that I just choose not to because, I don't know, I just don't, I don't want to dig into every, here's the, here's the facts. The facts are that more dramatic and chaotic and negative stuff that happens in the hobby is gonna get more attention and views, not even just in the hobby, but just in general, right? Like no news is good news type of thing. So if there is some news, it's probably bad if it's worthy of being on the news because that's what people gravitate towards is like, what is this bad thing that's happening? And uh, it's just a thing. You know, I'm just not willing to throw my hat in the ring for every single thing that happens bad in the hobby and, and talk about it because I just don't like to focus on that stuff, even though it could potentially be good for the performance of the channel. Um, even though maybe I could have a pretty decent, reasonable opinion that 
would be different than anybody else's that could have value to folks. You know, that, that's when that's when I'll break that. If I feel like I actually can have something of value to offer on a situation, that's when I won't bite my tongue. And that's when I'll throw my opinion out on the subject in a video publicly. So anyway, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking about. But for the most part, things go pretty well around here. So it's probably <laughs> pretty boring for YouTube views. Um, example, this weekend also, we had our slow reptile show, two slow reptile show in Slow County, the actual town of Slow, San Luis Obispo. And it was great. It's a, I've taken you there before, you know, in, in past years. No animal sales, a lot of the show. It's really just an exhibition. You can sell dry goods and whatnot, but there's no animal sales. So it's really just a bunch of families that come through, lots of kids. All day long, we had animals out on the table running all over the place. Crested gecko and scorpion, different snakes and kids with their questions and parents and moms and dads with their questions and really just a good fun time. Uh, and I didn't take video because I didn't have anybody that helped me this time, which was my fault. Um, though my buddy Travis was there, he was, he was doing stuff and they could have definitely helped while I filmed a bit, but I just was feeling so engaged with all the kids and whatnot that I didn't really want to take a break from it just to film a video, which probably means I'm not super good at my job of making YouTube videos because I probably should pick up the camera and film that type of stuff. But instead, I waited until we got here. This, now the mic is picking up from everywhere. So I should be able to turn the camera around and you can pick up the sound no matter which way I point it. You're also picking up probably a bunch more of the ambient noise now. Look, the moon is in the sky. I don't know if you can even see it because it's such a wide angle lens that you probably can't quite make out the moon unless you have a really big screen. Um, it's like an 11 millimeter lens, so you can't really uh, see things that are far away too well. But hopefully you can really grasp the beauty of the place that I'm in, despite that. Uh, yeah, but anyway, short uncut video, just to remind you about the show this weekend, as well as, I don't know, just chat with you about my thoughts and feelings after a good weekend. Lots of political stuff in the music this weekend, which is a little bit of a bummer. I was kind of hoping to just come to a festival and hear music and not hear about politics, but I guess it's hard to escape. And that's why I'm, I'm not bombarding you with that stuff either here, because I know that would also get interesting clicks and views because I got all my opinions, but you know what? I'd rather not, so I won't. Um, gosh rather just focus on this this is this seems way better i think everybody just needs to take a deep breath and have a moment like this so that's what it is I'm, that's what i'm really trying to bring just remind you take a moment to breathe <sighs> try not to take ourselves too seriously about the things that don't matter too much not that there aren't a lot of things that do matter a lot but right now just going back to have with my family for the last band of the evening, Wolfpack is pretty much at the top of my list of important things to do. So consider myself highly blessed. I hope to see you this weekend. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you then. Aloha.